what is going on YouTube welcome back to yet another video so today we're in the F10 and I wanted to talk about my new ECS tuning coilovers that I just put on last week so at this point I've driven on them for uh, probably a couple hundred miles just to and from work and uh, I've had a couple people ask me since posting that video my thoughts and uh, opinions about them so I figured I'd make today's video where I go over just the cost the build quality the ride quality and then at the end of the video I'll give you my personal opinion about them and whether or not I think you should purchase them yourself for your F10 so with that let's uh, hop right into it so the first thing I want to talk about regarding these coilovers is the cost now I'm gonna try to keep my opinion about them uh, till the end of the video I want to kind of give you my unbiased opinion and talk about the coils themselves and then I'll give you my thoughts at the end of the video but Strictly from a cost perspective, these coils are definitely on the low end of what you could spend for new suspension for these cars. Um, ECS Tuning has these on their website for about $800 to $850 before shipping and taxes and whatnot. And $800, $850 for a full set of suspension for these cars is definitely cheap you could definitely spend uh, well over twice that for good brands like KW or Olin's or Broadway and uh, so strictly from a cost perspective um, they're definitely not the best they're definitely not the best bang for your buck that you could get out there on the market today but I will say depending on what you're looking for and what your goals are for your car um, these might be the perfect coils for the cost. So if your goal is to simply lower your F10 and get a little bit more firmer, sporty suspension feel, these are definitely perfect for $900. There's no reason to have to get the really expensive suspension if you're not planning to, you know, drive it aggressively or go to the canyons or whatever. And that's not to say that buying that suspension is a waste of money. Obviously, if you have the money, the better the suspension you can afford, the better your ride quality, the better the build quality, the better the functionality of the coilovers. But um, if you're just looking for budget coilovers or affordable coilovers, this is definitely a perfect option if you're looking to upgrade your suspension and have the three-way adjustability that these offer for the price. All right, so we went over cost and now I wanna go over the build quality of these coilovers. Again, strictly speaking, uh, unbiased as best as I can. I'll give you my thoughts at the end. But out of the box, these coilovers looked really, really good. I was really, really surprised. They were packaged uh, really well. Um, once I took the sleeves off and everything, it all looked really well made. The welds were really good. Um, I'm not a welder at all, so actually what do I know? But they looked good. They looked like they uh, were built really well. They, the collars and the um, threads, everything uh, adjusted really nicely. And so out of the box, they looked really good for the price. Um, I don't know what I was expecting for 900 bucks. Uh, I definitely am satisfied with what I saw. But I did wanna note there were two things that I did eventually see or notice that I would consider negatives, but by no means at all are these deal breakers when it comes to if you're planning to purchase these coilovers or not. So the first thing, um, after my initial inspection, when I opened the box and kind of got my hands on them, uh, when I went to go install them, I noticed that the logo or like the stickers on the coils themselves were all like torn up. It almost looked like someone had tried to like take them off and then just stopped midway and left the corners kind of hanging loose. Um, I really quickly want to like emphasize that obviously not a big deal. I personally could care less if there were logos on them or stickers on them. Like that doesn't mean anything to me. As long as they perform and as long as they function, I have no complaints about that stuff. But uh, better quality, more expensive coilovers, I could probably guarantee won't have that problem. And on the off chance that anyone ever eventually really dives into my car and kind of is looking around my car it might be something they would notice and so i figured i'd note it here for all i know that could have happened in transit maybe the adjustable sway bar end links that came in the kit 
maybe they were moving around. I don't know if it was tumble, whatever, it doesn't matter, but it was worth noting. The second thing, and this one is a little more of an issue with the fact that these are kind of cheaper coils. Again, not a problem at all, but again, worth noting, is the front coilover struts themselves. Um, when you remove the OEM ones, there's obviously the three nuts on top that hold it to the shock tower underneath the hood. And then at the bottom, there's a bolt and nut that hold the strut to the lower control arm. And you're gonna reuse both the bolt and the nut. And on the ECS tuning coilovers, the holes that you put the bolt through, they weren't big enough to fit the bolt all the way through or through it all for that matter. Um, so what I ended up having to do was taking my biggest drill bit and just kind of like shaving off a little bit of the inside. Um, not much at all, probably half a millimeter, maybe even one millimeter. Um, for all I know, it could have simply been the paint, the thick layer of paint that they laid on these coilovers from whenever they were made. But after I used a drill bit and just shaved that down a little bit, the bolts fit perfectly. There was not excessive play by any means and I was able to install them no problem. So um, now I wanna speak on, again, taking it back to the build quality. Um, in my opinion, I think there's a lot to be said about parts that come from, or when you purchase them, parts that say that they're bolt-on and they are actually fully bolt-on. You don't need to do a lot of modifications or anything to make whatever part it is fit right. And I think it's really important when you buy parts um, that if it's expected to be bolt-on, it is bolt-on. I think there's a lot of uh, aftermarket part options out there, especially cheap parts that say that they're bolt-on and end up um, needing a lot of work and a lot of modification. Um, if you happen to catch my video where I was trying to install the rear diffuser on this car that I bought from eBay, you know what I'm talking about. Go check it out if you haven't seen it. But these coilovers, absolutely zero issues being installed. In fact, they were arguably easier to install than the OEM ones were coming out and again if you hadn't watched my video last week where i installed the coilovers um i suggest you go check it out after this if you're interested but um for these coilovers to be as cheap as they were and for them to go in without any problems at all other than the fact that i was working on my back in the garage doing it on the ground instead of on a lift where it would have been a lot a lot easier um no complaints at all with these coilovers. The build quality in that regard is awesome. Um, I couldn't say anything bad about that. So I'm really stoked that they came out the way they did and uh, install was pretty much a breeze minus laying on my back the entire time. So perfect. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about is the ride quality of these coilovers. Arguably the most important part of installing any new suspension part on any car. Um, as you can see, I've been going up and down the coast here for the last like 20 minutes trying to film these clips and at least in the preview when I go back and look at these clips, um, this car rides really nice. This car actually rides surprisingly nice uh, compared to what I thought they were going to ride like when I installed them. So obviously compared to stock suspension, which is the only thing I have to compare these coils to. Um, I know I said I was going to try to keep my unbiased opinion until the end, but seeing how this is my first F10 ownership experience, which had stock suspension, and now I'm on these coilovers, I only really can compare the two. So speaking on the su stock suspension, obviously these coils are a lot more firm than those were. Um, the F10 chassis the vibe I've always got when I was looking for one and when I've done research on them is that they were always designed with like leisurely comfortable driving in mind. These are meant to be kind of cruising cars, daily driving to and from work, really comfortable uh, cars. And you know that by, you know, just the fact that these cars come with certain options like heated and cooled even massage seats like you could tell that BMW was thinking like comfort and leisurely driving for these cars 
And so installing these aftermarket coilovers, um, the car is definitely a lot more firm. It feels, this is gonna sound negative, but it feels more rough, but I don't mean that in a negative way. Obviously like road bumps and little dips in the rotors and stuff are picked up a lot more with these coilovers on than the stock suspension. These coilovers aren't quite as good at absorbing those impacts. And so what would probably probably be uh, almost unnoticeable uh, bumps and stuff in the road with the coilovers, you could tell when you hit that stuff and even more so when you're going over some slightly more aggressive things like, you know, potholes or manhole co covers or something, it sounds like uh, really rough in here. It sounds like you hit something when in fact it's just these coilovers not being able to absorb as much of the impact as the stock suspension was able to do. So in that regard, the ride quality is different. I wouldn't say worse, just different. And that kind of goes back to what I was saying earlier in the video um, in the cost uh, analysis about you got to kind of determine what you're looking for when you buy coilovers. If you're looking for suspension that feels smoother than stock suspension, then you're probably going to pay uh, a higher price for coilovers that do that or suspension that does that. But in my case, I was looking to first and foremost, the whole entire reason I even got the coilovers was because I simply wanted to lower the car. Um, I have a vision for this car that requires it to be low or I want it to be low to be able to fit this vision I have for the car. And so I went into it with that in mind and whatever the ride quality or the build quality was, I was willing to bite that bullet and purchase these cheap coilovers and for the, uh, for the trade-off of being able to lower the car. And it's only now that I have, that I have them installed and now that I've been driving with them for the past couple hundred miles that actually realized that I got really lucky because these coilovers actually ride really well. Um, they're definitely more firm. They're definitely a little more sporty, but considering that I have dampening control, preload control, and height control, um, I actually have these dialed really, really well to where on everyday roads, like in the city and to and from, like just quick places, it's definitely more firm. It's not as comfortable it's still comfortable but on roads like freeways where it's just really smooth and long straight roads um, I'd argue that these are marginally less noticeable than stock suspension when uh, you're cruising on long roads and even right now on this road that I'm on on the coast uh, I don't know if it's being translated over video but it feels pretty smooth you know um, it doesn't feel harsh at all. I don't feel like I'm, you know, being jarred around a bunch. I feel like I'm really planted. I feel firm, but I also feel nice. I feel comfortable. And I think for what these coilovers cost, uh, I couldn't have gotten a better like bang for your buck as far as checking off the boxes I wanted out of coilovers. Um, obviously, you again, you could spend a lot of money and buy really expensive coilovers that would absolutely blow these coilovers out of the water in every aspect but um in my case like i said i wanted to i figured i'd bite the bullet i'd give them a try and so far absolutely zero complaints um only time will tell if you know these actually end up being not worth the investment but um so far uh absolutely stoked on them all right so now that we've talked about uh cost build quality and the ride quality of these coilovers um, as unbiased as I could be towards them, I wanted to give you my personal thoughts on the coilovers. So all in all, I'm 100% satisfied with these ECS tuning coilovers. Um, I am a little biased. I hadn't mentioned it up to this point in the video. I kind of wanted to give you my unbiased opinion in regards to the other aspects of these coilovers. But I actually bought them uh, during ECS Tuning's Black Friday sale. And so I was able to snag an entirely brand new set of coilovers with adjustable sway bar end links for under $500. Um, I have no idea if this was like a one-off sale that they did. I don't know if they will ever do this sale again, but for $500 and having three-way uh, adjustability, I 
couldn't have bought them quicker, to be honest with you. Um, and it's only after the fact that now that I've had them installed, I'm even more satisfied with my purchase. Um, I sort of halfway joked last video about how um, if I'm able to lower the car the way I want and get like 75 to 80 percent of the ride quality, then this purchase will be will have been a hundred percent worth it. And I can tell you right now, this purchase was a hundred percent worth it. Um, I'd argue that I'm probably even got more than 80% of the ride quality as stock suspension. Um, as I mentioned throughout this whole video, uh, these coilovers have absolutely surprised me. Um, I know I said I don't really have a lot of other examples to go off of, but um, so far no complaints. The car rides really well. It handles better than it did before when I had the stock suspension on, there's a lot less body roll now because the suspension is a lot firmer. And overall, cannot complain, zero complaints. I would definitely buy these coilovers again. And so I think at this point, you know, to answer the question I'm sure everyone's asking is, should you buy these coilovers? A hundred percent, I think you should go for it. I think you should give them a shot. And I definitely think if you could somehow manage to snag these coilovers, uh, during one of those sales where the coilovers are, uh, I believe mine were like 46% off or whatever. If you could snag these coilovers for that cost, I genuinely don't believe there's a better bang for your buck coilover out there. Um, to be able to have three-way adjustability, to get the ride quality that these offer, depending on how you set up the coilovers, uh, I truly don't believe you could buy a better budget coilover for the cost. I mean, for less than $500 uh, to be able to get what I've gotten out of these coilovers, I literally, I couldn't have asked for anything better, honestly. Um, the only way I could see you getting a similar deal is if you happen to snag a used set of high quality coilovers for whatever you could snag a used set for, you know? But even then, like, I, I don't think you need to do that. I, had I gone that route, uh, especially with what I paid during the Black Friday sale, so if I had spent you know four to six times the cost for a higher quality brand coilover, I don't think I would have got four to six times the value out of it. I definitely think I made the right call in purchasing these coilovers. Um, I definitely think the car looks the way I want it to look. Um, I'm really stoked with that. And overall, I just, I, I can't say enough good things about these ECS tuning coilovers. Um, definitely bi biased because I have them and definitely don't have the experience of driving other cars with better coilovers to give you guys a reference. But um, when trying to decide on coilovers myself, I didn't really see any videos talking specifically about these coilovers on the F10 chassis. There's a few videos of these coilovers on like some VWs, but obviously I don't drive a VW. So um, hopefully this is a good uh, place for you to get some ideas if you're considering suspension for the F10. Um, hopefully this video will answer all your questions and uh, ultimately I'm really satisfied with these, you guys. Cannot complain. Alrighty, I think that wraps this video up, you guys. Um, I want to note real quick, if you happen to be watching this video because you're considering buying coilovers for your F10 and you haven't yet watched my video where I install the coilovers, I highly suggest you go check that video out. Um, whether or not you buy these brand coilovers, if you buy any coilovers, also check that video out because I go over briefly some of the process to be able to remove your stock suspension and install coilovers on your F10, so please go check that out. Um, at this point, I've been driving up and down the coast filming these videos for you guys for the past like hour. So I think I'm going to wrap it up. I definitely love driving the coast, man. I love this car. That's kind of why I'm building it. I love just cruising and, uh, having a cool car to cruise in. And, uh, I definitely love making these videos for you guys. I feel like every single video, I'm kind of learning a bit more and more. This has been pretty rad filming in my car. I haven't done it before, but, uh, Anyways, if you made it this far, as usual, I appreciate you, and uh, I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.